sprained ankles used to take weeks to heal, but not anymore. Here's some tips to help you get your ankle healed in only a few days instead of weeks like the doctor told you that it would take. First thing you need to know is, man, you're not alone. Every day more than 25,000 people experience the pain of an ankle sprain. An ankle sprain occurs when your ankle moves in, a, in such a way that the ligaments holding the bones together stretch farther than they're supposed to. It's kind of like an elastic on your waistband of some of shorts or something like that that stretches too far and you hear it tear and pop. Same thing happens to your ligaments. Most people who sprain their ankles unfortunately have another sprain because they don't properly rehabilitate after they injure it. The traditional approach to treating an ankle is really slow. First do the Bryce protocol. Wait for the swelling to go down. Start rehabilitation. Strengthen your ankles using 7 to 10 different exercises that require rubber bands, stretching, toe raises, and towel pulls. Total time to 100% rehab, 3 to 4 weeks on average, up to 6 weeks, maybe more depending how serious your sprain is. There's been a change in recovery by the medical community. In the past, in the 70s and 80s, doctors believed that the rest, that rest after surgery or injury was the most effective way for a patient to recover. For instance, knee surgery, knee injuries, and recovery time was 10 to 12 months. Recovery after open heart surgery was weeks before the patient was allowed to get out of bed. Fast forward to today. Doctors have proof that getting a patient moving as soon as possible is best for a speedy recovery. New knee injury recovery time is as little as six weeks with an athlete, athlete returning to competition quickly, often in the same season that the, the injury, was, injury occurred. Open heart surgery recovery is, uh, is changed as well. Patients required to get up and walk within 24 hours of surgery, but most often within hours of coming out of recovery. Doctors know that moving is key to health. So if almost every procedure requires movement shortly after surgery, or injury, then why does everyone accept the fact that it takes weeks to heal an ankle injury? Doesn't make any sense to me. A new approach to rehabbing a sprained ankle. Reduce swelling fast within hours, not days. Restore range of motion to the injured ankle. Strengthen the injured ankle. Protect the injured ankle from further injury while you're rehabbing it. Reducing your total time for 90% rehab to five to seven days. 90% meaning it's gonna take a few, a little bit longer than five to seven days to get where you didn't know you injured your ankle in the first place. But warning, don't make this common method, take this, mistake this common method as rehabilitation. Standard protocol for a sprained ankle is a procedure called RICE. And RICE stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. RICE is typically used as a first aid approach, but many people think it's, re, it's a rehab procedure. It's not. Step number one, the new approach to reducing swelling. Swelling is your body's way of mobilizing your ankle joint to prevent further injury, but it also prevents you from starting rehab. So reducing swelling fast will help you get your get you started on rehab earlier, getting you back to your life faster than you would have otherwise. The most effective way to reduce swelling uh, is by immersing your ankle in an ice bath, then adding movement. When you add a certain type of movement, you can rapidly pump the swelling out of your ankle and reduce pain at the same time, allowing you to start rehab faster. So, step number two, strengthening your ankle. One of the biggest mistakes people make after an ankle injury is they don't strengthen their ankle once it starts to feel better. The second biggest mistake people make when rehabbing a sprained ankle is to neglect the other ankle that wasn't injured. This results in having one ankle stronger than the other and, is, and causes recurring sprains to go from one ankle, from one side to the other side. Strengthening methods include stretching, rubber band therapy, toe raises, towel pulls, and balance exercises. But there's a better way. An advanced method is strengthening ankles. Traditional rehab methods involve multiple exercises using different, using different types of equipment. Special efforts needed to make sure you're doing the exercises properly or they won't work. The effectiveness is lessened. Advanced rehab techniques use uses one exercise that does the same work as five of the old exercises but makes them brain dead simple and completely safe to do. You can even do the exercise while reading a book or watching your favorite t TV show once you, once you learn how to do it the first time. Traditional rehab requires several different pieces of equipment only available through physical therapy and these, equipment, these pieces of equipment are virtually worthless after rehab is complete. They just kind of clutter up your closet or your drawer. Advanced rehab techniques involve purchasing one simple piece of equipment costing less than $30, which can be used to enhance the athletic performance after rehab is complete. So it's something that benefits you even after your rehab is done. So you can get the most advanced rehab program and start using it in just a few minutes. It only makes sense to use the most advanced methods to do anything that you do. You know, why would you go to horse and buggy when you can get in your brand new Camaro and drive across the country. Why would anybody willing to do the things the old, slow, ineffective way when there is a proven program that can reduce healing time by more than 75%? If you want to get your ankle healed fast and get back to your life, 
Visit www.fastrehab.com for more information. That's www.fastrehab.com. Thanks, and good luck and get your ankle back in shape.